Here are seven things that I learned about what it's like to work at NASA that I didn't know before working there. First, groups at NASA still refer to each other really heavily by their mail codes. These are really outdated group classifications that made sure mail arrived to the right people. I worked in OP, but mainly worked on projects for OZ, the Research Integration Office. Two, every area of NASA has a completely different culture. It's impossible to classify what it's like to work at NASA because every center, every group within the center, and every team within that group operates so differently. Three, NASA employees aren't allowed to show their badge in photos. It's always a struggle to try to remember to take them off or flip them around in pictures because many people wear them on lanyards. Four, many people who work in mission control have never seen a rocket launch in person. Since most of them work launches from mission control, they haven't had a reason to go to the place where the rockets are actually lifting off from the ground. Five, I knew there were a lot of meetings, but I didn't realize just how many meetings there are. A lot of it happens because there are many different levels of management and you have to separately report on what you are working on to all of them. Six, there are historic exhibits scattered around regular office buildings. So you'll be walking down a hall, walk past some student space flown experiments or an Apollo life support system or even a bunch of spacesuits. Number seven is that many of the people that work at NASA are government contractors rather than civil servants. That means they're employed by another company that NASA has made an agreement with to complete work. 